Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel, Smith Shakes Custom Baits, Rick Smith Shake here. Um, today, we're going to make some Hogramites, alright? I got an order today for a bass kit, and I'm like, what the heck is that? I mean, it came right off the website. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I can't figure it out. I go to the website and I look into these kits that I put on there like a year ago, a year and a half ago, or something like that. It's the first time one sold. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I had to go look it up, but uh, basically what it is is you can pick a a, a a particular bait, like in this case the Helger Mite, and then you can choose a a color set based on water clarity. There are four different color sets for um, clear water, another four for stained water, and four more for muddy water. Same thing with panfish baits. Well, this was the first time, right? And it's been so long since they, since I put that up there. It's such, a, such an old idea that I totally forgot about it <laughs> until today. So today, that's what we're going to do. And this guy ordered, the color set he ordered is... Um, and he orders it, ordered it with small salt, uh, Charlie Special, Mardi Gras, Grapevine, June Bug, and Green Pumpkin. So those are, that's the uh, that's the clear water set that he's that he's wanting. And um, I'm going to shoot probably two colors on camera, and then well, I'll shoot the other three off camera and show you the stuff. Do that in the interest of brevity. Um, this this particular mold. Hopefully there's no glare from the light. You know what? Hold on a second. There. That should be a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> this one here, the spruce starts up here and goes all the way down. Now I'm not sure why they laid the mold out like this instead of just put a sprue down the middle and let the and have the the uh, the cavities off of each side of it. Because it seems like to me this is, there's a lot more waste with the sprue this way. But there's probably a reason for it. Okay, we're just using remelt today. See a little bit of salt in that Charlie special there. All right, let's go ahead and shoot this. All right, let's do this. Here comes our first shot. Oh, we're gonna have air in there. I should have made sure that the that the plunger wasn't stuck. Usually, if you haven't moved it right, uh, moved it. Um, I just take it off the pegboard and just grab it. It's stuck, move it back and forth once or twice, and it's, it's just fine. I didn't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's check these guys out. This mold is from Bass Tap, and I have to say that it shoots, as long as I do my part, it shoots perfect every time. Nice, nice baits. All the little legs are filled out. Um, yeah, I hope these Helgramites catch that guy a ton of fish. I'm just going to pull them all off here. I'll put these guys on a tray. I haven't quite figured out how to, uh, how to hang them on the pegboard just yet. So they all hang nice and straight. Right, there's some Mardi Gras for you. This stuff's hot enough. It's plenty hot to shoot. So we'll go ahead and get that done. Okay. Time to make some Mardi Gras Helger mites. I might have to use a six ounce injector if I was going to, uh, if I had two of these molds to fill at the same time. I only have one right now. Go. Okay, let's check out some Mardi Gras Hogramites. Now the color is just pretty freaking awesome, I think. <laughs> All of them filled, every single one, every cavity filled out just exactly what it's supposed to.
but here we go. Okay, so they didn't turn out too bad. I used the I used the towel on the tray because the light is the LED light is right above us, um, and I don't want the glare to, to blind anybody. Uh, so, but we have our Charlie Special, um, the Mardi Gras, Green Pumpkin on for these, Grapevine, and June Bug. Um, I did have one issue with the Grapevine. The first time I took the shot on the mold, um, three of them came out with nasty little dents. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think that's the very first time. Maybe I didn't hold pressure long enough. Um, that could be. Uh, I, I know I didn't top it off, but I don't usually need to. Um, but maybe that, maybe I should have. Uh, but uh, I, no worries. I just kept the, I kept the three, the three extras for myself. Not that I need more base, but there you have it. And uh, and then just reshot the mold and, and got us got got another uh, three more good ones. So for, for further order. So, but that's a that's an example of the. Of a bait kit. All right. Well, that mold is pretty pretty stinking hot today. Only shot it seven times, but they heat up fast. <laughs> it's just it's almost too hot to handle. Um, I would say it's quite hot enough to, to cook eggs on yet, but a couple more shots and it probably would be. So, um, here you have an example of one of our bait kits, and uh, this was an idea that I had that I thought was would be over like hotcakes and it, and it kind of hasn't <laughs> but you know just keep trying right uh, so um if you like what you saw today hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit that little bell so you get notifications when, when we get new videos up. Um, share share with everybody sharing is one of the ways that we can we can help each other um, and I think serving each other is is why we're here um, to help each other out to not, not to not to necessarily be in competition with each other all the time not that a little friendly competition isn't, isn't healthy but that we should we should be more interested in each other's success than we are in crawling over the other dude to get to success um, and I believe in that for almost, well, almost my entire life ever since I understood the concept uh, so, um, but until next time, folks, tighten lines and call Mars. God bless.